The South Sudan business community in Mombasa is now accusing the Kenya Ports Authority of disobeying the presidential directive to revert all port clearing services to the county of Mombasa. The business community argues that uh, KPA has also remained tight-lipped on the process demanding unfettered access to ongoing deliberations. The South Sudan business community in Mombasa is alleging that all is not well in efforts to revert port services back to Mombasa. There's an outcry from the people of uh, Southern Sudan and people of Mombasa as well because the livelihood of people of Mombasa come from this port. If you take business away from the people of Mombasa, how do you expect them to leave? A directive was recently given to have services currently being handled in Naivasha to be transferred to Mombasa to streamline port operation and provide jobs in the coastal city. The directive of His Excellency, President Ruto, is very clear. The President of the Republic directive is very clear during the integration. All our presidents were there. All cargoes, no exception, revert to Mombasa for handling and clearing. The same position from our government of South Sudan. All cargoes should revert to Mombasa for handling and clearing. The South Sudan business community accused Kenya Port Authority of forcibly evacuating South Sudan cargo to Nairobi against their will. We are asking the, the, the KPA to respect this directive and please let our cargo come back because our people are suffering back at home. People are suffering. Things are becoming very expensive in the market because they are associated with the import and export. You also you don't force the traders to use one mean of, of, uh, of transportation. And that's what we told uh, the, 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 the old regime under Macharia. The group wants the port services reverted back to Mombasa as soon as possible, arguing that the transportation of their cargo to the inland container depots and freight terminals has resulted in them losing their commodities. Reporting for Lunchtime News, I'm Elvis Otieno.